The garage doors shivered Ashley. Even though she felt compelled to look inside, she had no idea what she would find. As she tugged, the garage door opened unexpectedly. She gasped in alarm at her sudden entrance. The sound of a car door slamming awakened Ashley up around 1.15 a.m. That's strange, Ashley thought. At this time, the neighborhood was silent. After rubbing her tired eyes, she looked out her window and was shivering. Ashley lived across from a graffiti-covered garage that had been abandoned for years. Until now. Ashley saw a man exit a car and open the garage. He entered and slammed the doors. Who goes to their garage at night? Ashley felt off. Ashley saw the man and his car in the garage the next morning. All night. She hurriedly introduced herself. As much as Ashley tried, Darren wouldn't talk. He shrugged when asked where he lived and closed the garage doors. His secret. Ashley left Darren and the garage with more questions. She shivered when she heard the garage doors close. If you like my videos, don't forget to like or subscribe. Thanks in advance. Ashley sensed something was wrong. In that garage, Darren was hiding something. Ashley was determined to discover. Ashley was surprised to see Darren at his garage every day for weeks. For days, she heard a chainsaw buzzing. Right? Nobody, not even Ashley, could have known what this sinister gentleman man was doing in the garage. Ashley and a few neighbors laughed at Darren's garage for weeks. No home. Family? Sleeping in his garage? Darren never went to work, so she assumed he worked from home. Ashley saw something at night. Something she never expected in her perfect neighborhood. Ashley initially disliked his antisocial behavior and unwillingness to meet his neighbors. Then it was his bizarre visiting habits, now more and more odd behaviors started to show and Ashley wasn't liking any of it. Her suspicions of this man and his secretive behavior grew quickly. Ashley heard strange noises and thumps from the garage in the middle of the night. It frequently woke her. One night, the noise was so bad that she got up to look out her window, but what she saw gave her a cold, terrifying shiver. Ashley saw Darren in the middle of the night wearing all black, hoodie up, gloves on, carrying something from his garage. He struggled to get it into his trunk, then drove off. His destination. He did what? Ashley worried about the strange, aloof man who lived next door. As her heart raced, she dressed and muttered, it's now or never. She had to discover what he was doing to report him. Ashley ran across the road to open his garage. Locked. She crept around to find open windows. She tiptoed in. She snooped quickly. She wasn't sure if garages had trespassing rules like houses. She assumed less. However, the garage was dark. She heard something. Ashley froze. Her heart raced. He lit the room and entered with his strange tools. She shrieked when he noticed her. She noticed his actions. She saw no way out. Deer in headlights. Ashley saw one of the coolest interior designs ever as her eyes adjusted to the light. He converted the garage into his home. He spent all night building, organizing, and cleaning the garage. It resembled a magazine cover. Ashley and Darren shocked. Ashley apologized profusely, but he refused. She trespassed on his property. Ashley eagerly told him she thought he was a criminal, explaining what she saw and how he made her feel over the past few weeks. Darren laughed his crazy story online. Thoughts on the viral post? Some users advised Darren to investigate if she suspected criminal activity. Most commented that her actions were illegal and unacceptable and advised him to press charges. Ashley was still apologizing, so he considered it. Ashley brought baked goods, wine, flowers, and a housewarming gift to his door the next day. She apologized. She also praised his garage redesign. Darren accepted it, believing it would never happen again. Want a tour, he grinned. Ashley awkwardly introduced herself to Darren's wife, dog, and son. 
she was unaware of his family. Darren and his family had been living here while his new house was being built across town. Darren saw something online that inspired him to build their dream home instead of paying exorbitant rent. Tiny House Nation was the show. He saw Ashley's neighborhood's old garage for sale and had a great idea. The 440 square foot garage cost Darren $107,000. It was decent considering it was half the price of nearby apartments. He was mocked for trying this crazy plan. Darren saw potential in the garage and refused to back down. Darren's stubbornness paid off, the former garage now has a kitchen, dining room, living room, work area, bathroom, and sleeping loft. Darren's home and talent wowed Ashley. Who would have thought a small garage could become a fully equipped, tiny home? The tiny home has four sections on four levels. Ashley was even more surprised that a family of three and a small Jack Russell could live in this tiny space comfortably. Darren planned this crazy DIY project using every inch of the garage. The three-seater sofa-equipped living room is one level below the kitchen. As a space-saving measure, a small shelf in front of the lounge has a computer screen compartment. The kitchen and bathroom have air vents, but the front door can also be opened. How could a small space house a family of three? Tiny houses are simplified versions of regular houses. Since last year, Amazon sells DIY kits for turnkey, tiny homes. Tiny houses are becoming more popular as people avoid the debt cycle of home ownership. The tiny house movement originated in the 1970s but took off after the 2008 financial crisis when many young people decided to build affordable compact homes. Fresno, California, and Spur, Texas, have growing tiny house communities. Darren's DIY Micro Home versus a regular house. The micro house has everything. The kitchen has a single sink, a good sized fridge, a small gas stove, a kettle, a pantry, and other appliances. The kitchen floor holds a small washing machine and storage. Bathroom. Darren's bathroom has a sink, shower, and toilet. The bed overlooks a home entertainment system on the bathroom ceiling. The loft bedroom has stairs from the kitchen and a small balcony for Darren and his family to relax. Darren used traditional timber framing construction and a multi-layered design to make the tiny space comfortable for his family. For 57 square feet per person, he did well. How about winter heating? That's Darren's too. Natural gas and electricity heat the tiny house. Mineral wool insulation, vapor barrier sheets, and laminate flooring keep the tiny house warm year-round. Darren installed OSB sheathing and PVC roofing membranes to regulate the house's temperature, making it cheap to heat. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again in the next video.